Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are going to discuss today statistics and this is lecture number 3. And I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 2 before watching this part 3. In previous lecture, we had started uh, to find the concept of mean deviation about median for ungrouped data. Let us discuss some questions today and uh, we will continue them. So, mean deviation about median and mean deviation about mean. Uh, these two things we have learned for ungrouped data. So, let us discuss some questions from given exercise and we are going to solve questions from exercise 15.1. So, in this one, uh, first question from this exercise is here given find the mean deviation about mean of the following data. Find the mean deviation mean deviation about mean deviation about mean of the following data mean of the following data following data right and data is given like 4 7 8 9 10 12 8 9 10 12 and 13 17 13 and 17 so mean first of all we should calculate mean and mean is x bar that is what is that that is 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 12 plus 13 plus 17 divided by how many data 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 divided by 8 13 plus 17 is 30 and plus 40 and this is 52 and 860 and uh, 60 and this 20 60 20 80 divided by 8 that is 10 so mean is 10 now mean deviation can be obtained by using this concept that x minus x bar mean deviation about mean is therefore mean deviation about mean deviation about mean is nothing else this is 1 by n and sigma i is equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar whole mod and therefore this can be written as mean deviation is mean deviation is x minus x bar so 4 minus 10 4 minus 10 mod plus 7 minus 10 plus 8 minus 10 plus 9 minus 10 plus 10 minus 10 plus 12 minus 10 12 minus 10 plus 13 minus 10 and plus 17 minus 10 right these are few things divided by 10 so what will happen in that case uh, this will be 4 minus 10 is 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7 divided by 10 and that will come up 7 plus 3 10 into 12 13 to 15 15 and 9 is 24 divided by 10 that is 2.4 and that will be answer so I hope you got it right now so this is what mean deviation about mean um, one more question of this category I am going to discuss here. The second question uh, that is mean deviation about mean and uh, second question that is given here that uh, find the mean deviation about mean. Find the mean deviation about mean. Deviation about mean of the following data. About mean from of the following data. Of the following data. Right, so there are two questions, and uh, I hope with the help of these two questions, we will be definitely able to understand it. And the data is given like 38, 70, and 48, 48, 40, 42, 40, 42, and 55, 63, 55, 63, and 46, 46, 54, and 44. So first of all, while solving this question, uh, we should uh, 
find this mean and mean of the data is because we have to find from mean deviation and in that case you can find the sum of all these divided by number of data so directly we can write 4 plus 4 8 and 8 and 6 14 14 3 17 5 22 and 2 24 and 8 32 and 8 40 0 carry 4 4 3 7 7 14 14 4 18 plus 4 22 plus 4 26 5 31 6 37 41 and 5 41 and 9 50 so 500 divided by 2 4 6 8 10 10 data and therefore divided by 10 that is 50 now mean deviation about mean we need to calculate and therefore mean deviation directly we can write here 1 by n that is 10 and 38 minus x minus x bar so 38 minus 50 is 12 modulus along with modulus 70 minus 50 is 20 48 minus 50 is 2 plus uh, 40 minus 50 is 10 plus 42 minus 50 is 8 5 here 13 4 4 and 6 divided by 10 and that will be nearly equal to 12 2 to 4 and 8 12 plus 5 12 plus 5 is 17 3 20 24 20 24 and 10 34 4 carry 3 3 1 4 1 5 and 2 7 and 1 8 so this is 84 divided by 8 which is 8.4 so here mean deviation is 8.4. I hope you got it. So with the help of this directly you can write it. There is no problem. Now let us discuss some more questions for mean deviation about median. So the question is question number third. Find the mean deviation about median of the following data. Find the mean deviation deviation. Find the mean deviation about median of the following data mean deviation about the median about the median of the following data of the following data and data is given here that is 13 17 16 14 11 16 14 11 and 13 10 16 13 10 16 and then 11, 18, 12, 11, 18, 12, and then 17. These are some data. So, first of all, to find median of the data, we need to rearrange them. So, arranging them, what will happen? List of them is 10. So, I can write 10, then 11, just cancels out here so that no one will left out. 13, 11, 11 is twice, so we'll write here twice. And then 12 is there, 12, then 13 is there, 13, 13 is twice, so also we'll write two times right now. After 13, there is 14, so 14 is here, I can write this 14, and then 16 is there, two times 16, 1, 16, 2, so two times 16, and then 17 is also two times, so 17 and 17, and then 18, we can write it like this, okay. So all the data has been written here 3 plus 3 is 6 and 3 9 and 3 12. So total here an age 12 which is even. So median age therefore median age median age median m age n by 2th plus n by 2 plus 1th data divided by 2. So this will be 6 and 6 of them is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 is this, 7th is this. So we will write this 6th and 7th that is 13 and 14 data. So 13 plus 14 these are the two data you know and uh, these are the two so we can write this. 13 plus 17 so we will write this okay. so 13 plus 17 14 13 plus 14 divided by 2 that is 
Now, uh, median is what? Uh, median, mean, right, mean deviation. So, mean deviation is 10 minus 13.5, that is minus 3.5, modulus of that is 3.5. 11 minus 13.5 is 2.5, 2.5 again, and then 1.5, then 0.5, then 0.5, then 14 minus 13.5 is 0.5, 16 minus this is 2.5, right now, and 2.5 again, and then there is 17 minus this, that is 3.5 plus 3.5, 3.5 and 4.5. 3.5 and 4.5 whole divided by how many data are there? 12. So divide by 12. You will get it because formula is there 1 by n times. So what will happen? Let me write this. So here it will be 3.5 and 3.5. 7 plus 5, 12, 13, 13 and 2, 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 8 is 28 divided by 12 and that is 4 7 are 28 and 4 3 are 12 so 3 2 are 6 point 3 3 are 9 right now and 3 9 that will be the answer since mean deviation formula for mean deviation i have used here that is 1 by n sigma i is equal to 1 to n and x i minus m modulus this is what I have used here. So this is the answer. I hope you got it. This is the formula which I, I have used here. And this is the formula. So clearly you will be able to get it. And you can calculate it also. Now next question uh, we can have like. Uh, next question we can have like. So this is what I got it here and uh, next one more question from this category is here that is a question, question number 4, find mean deviation about median, mean deviation about median of the following data, median of the following data, following data and the data is given like so these are the following data 3 plus 3 6 and 3 9 and 10. these are the 10 so first of all to write the solution we should rearrange them uh, in increasing order so list data out of this is 42 42 so I 36 so 36 and then 42 36 and then 42 42 let me cancel this this is 42 and then there will be 45, 45, this is cancelled, then 46, 46, 2 times, 46, 46, 2 times, isn't it? And then there will be 49, right? So we'll write 49, then 51, right? Then 53, this is here, and then 60, and then 72. So these are 3 plus. 3, 6, 3, 9, 1, 10. Here total number of data n is 10 and therefore median age, median age n is even n by 2th plus n by 2 plus 1th term divided by 2. So this will be median therefore m is equal to m is equal to what will happen median m is equal to 10 by 2 that is 5th and fifth data is where so in that case fifth plus 10 by 2 is fifth and 10 by 2 plus 5, 5 plus 1 6 fifth plus 6 data that is 46 plus 90 49 divided by 2 and this, that will be let me write here 46 plus 49 is 95 and 95 divided by 2 is what 4 so 47.5 so 47.5 now mean deviation about mean age therefore mean deviation about median age 
x i minus m modulus and sigma i is equal to 1 to n i is equal to 1 to n divided by n i is equal to 1 to n divided by n so what is that total n is how much 10 and so we write 1 by 10 into this much and if you subtract 36 minus 47.5 that is um, 10.5 11.5 11.5 plus 42 minus this is 5.5 5.5 2.5 and this is 46 46 again so 1.5 1.5 and that is 49 so again it is 1.5 and this is 3.5 and this is 5.5 you know and 5.5 uh, and then 60 60 means 12.5 and that will be 12.5 and plus 72 minus 47 is 14.5 14.5 and whole divided by 10 so it will be like uh, we can calculate it like how much this this will so that will be 60 sum will be 60 divided by 10 that is 6 and that will be answer so obviously you can calculate this mean deviation about median and i hope you got it you understand it what is the formula and how you can use this so all these things can be done with the help of formula this is not a big deal now we will start learning um, for medians mean deviation about uh, those data which is classified that is group so mean deviation of group data that we will going to learn today mean deviation of our group data so let us start this mean deviation of group data so it will be uh, starting from the next page mean deviation for group data mean deviation about mean from group data group data so first of all uh, mean deviation about mean so mean of group data can be calculated if x1 x2 x3 up to xn are in observation observation with frequencies frequencies f1 f2 f3 up to fn respectively respectively then mean deviation mean can be calculated mean of the data then mean of the data mean is equal to mean is x bar that is calculated as sigma fi xi upon sigma fi where i is equal to 1 to n i is equal to 1 to n so sigma fx simply in short form sigma fx upon sigma f this is what mean and now mean deviation can be calculated by using the formula and therefore mean deviation is it nothing else but the deviation about mean about mean can be calculated as because it is a repeated f1 times so that must be added f1 times and anything added f1 times means multiply by f1 so we can write here sigma i is equal to 1 to n f i x i minus x bar divided by sigma f i that is total n and that is the formula so we will uh, do accordingly so let us do some questions and thereafter we will discuss some more formula or it can be written like uh, mean deviation h 1 by n because total sigma is n and sigma n times of sigma i is equal to 1 to n i is equal to mean deviation about mean is 1 by n sigma i is equal to 1 to n f i x i minus x bar more right 
So this is what you need to calculate. But first of all, you have to calculate what x bar. And for this, you have formulas. Let us discuss some questions on the basis of this. And thereafter, we will discuss some more formulas. But before uh, doing that, let us discuss a few questions on the basis of this, what we have learned. So that is a question. Question number find mean deviation about mean of the following data. Question number find. Find the mean deviation. Mean deviation of the mean of the mean about following data. Of the following data of the following data right and the data is given like x i and f i is given x i and f i is given x i f i is given and the data is 5 10 15 20 25 5 10 15 20 25 and the frequency is given like 7467465. Now we can make a table and on the basis of this table we can calculate it. So here what I can make is a table. Insert table and in this table we will have xi, fi and the common data particular. So here what is that right number still? So xi is there, fi can be written here and xi, fi is there, right? So we can calculate it like this, here xi, fi. Now some more things, so I can write here 5, this is 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, right? And the frequencies are given here like 7, 7, 4, 6, 3, and 5. X, I, F, 5, that is 7, 5, they are 35, you know, 10, 4, they are 40, 13, 6, they are 90, and 23, they are 60, and 25, 5, they are 125. So, sum of the sigma X, I, F, 5 is equal to 5 plus 5, 10, carry 1, 3, and 4, 4, 8, 8, 9, 17, and 6, 23, and 225 so carry 2 and 213 that is 35 sigma fi that is n is equal to sigma fi 7 plus 4 11 plus 6 17 3 20 25 now mean is equal to mean x bar is equal to therefore mean x bar is equal to mean x bar is equal to sigma fi xi upon sigma fi that is n so what is that 350 divided by 25 is equal to 14 so now we can have some more uh, information also that xi minus x bar there are two more informations i can write here one is xi minus x bar and another is fi multiply by times xi minus x bar modulus and then we will have here uh, the things is like xi minus x bar modulus and there fi xi minus x bar modulus so xi minus x bar 14 if i subtract from it 5 minus 14 is 9 10 minus 14 is 4 15 minus 14 is 1 20 minus 14 is 6 Modulus I am taking just 25 minus 14 is 11. Now multiply by this f times 7 9 ja 63. So I can write here 63, 7 9 ja 63, 4 4 ja 16, isn't it? 6 1 ja 6 and 3 6 ja 7 6 3 ja 18 and this 5 into 11 is 55. Now here sigma of f i x i minus x bar and what is that that is equal to 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 6 15 15 plus 5 20 plus 8 28 carry 2 
six two eight one nine one ten and five fifteen. So one hundred and fifty eight. Now mean deviation about mean and therefore mean deviation is mean deviation MD is what? 158 as per formula divided by what is n? n is 25 that is 6.32 and that will be the answer right now 6.32 and that will be the answer mean deviation about me so this is all about this question and uh, one more question is there which you can do yourself by let us uh, say this question find the mean deviation about mean find the mean deviation about mean of the following data of the following data following data right this is question number six so in this question uh, there is also a table data are given and you can calculate some information on the basis of data here xi and fi is described xi 10 30 50 10 30 50 10 30 50 70 90 70 and 90 these are five data 2 4 5 and frequencies are given like 4 24 28 16 and 8 so again i can make a table for it and on the basis of the table we can have some information so from given data we can write this this is the information what i have written here and thereafter uh, for solving question i can have some more uh, values xifi that is 40 and this is 24 3 is 72 so 720 this will be 28 5 is 140 so 140 0 1400 and this is 17 6 112 0 and this is 9 it is 72 so 720 so here we can have sigma xi fi is equal to what and sigma fi that is n is equal to 24 plus 4 28 28 56 and 56 plus 6 is 60 plus uh, 10 70 and 8 78 I think so 4 4 8 8 16 and 622 plus 8 oh, sorry plus 4 plus 4 8 8 and uh, 8 and 8 16 and 622 and 8 30 so 0 carry 3 and 2 5 and 2 7 and 1 8 80 now this one is going to be 0 and 4 plus 2 6 6 and 2 8 and 2 10 carry 1 and 7 1 8 and 4 12 and 1 13 and 7 20 so carry 2 and 1 3 and 1 4 so this is 4000 so x bar is equal to and therefore mean x bar is equal to sigma fx of fi xi upon sigma fi that is n so this is 4000 divided by 80 4000 divided by 80 so 0 0 cancel 8 5 to 40 so this will be 50 only so 50 is mean now we can subtract 50 is mean so if we subtract 50 from this is that is 40 and this will be 50 minus this is 20 0 and this is 20 and this is 40 now we can multiply with this so 4 4 is 16 this is 160 24 into 2 24 2 is 48 so 480 and 28 into 0 is 0 and this is 16 into 20 is 320 right now and 8 into 40 is 320 again so the sum of all these will be sigma f i x i minus x bar modulus is equal to what is that 0 and this is 6 plus 8 at 6 14 into 16 14 18 carry 8 uh, 1 1 1 2 and 4 6 and 3 9 and 3 12 right 
so 1 2 8 0 this is nothing else but 1 2 8 0 1 2 8 0 so here mean deviation above mean is equal to therefore mean deviation deviation about mean so mean is given as 1 by n sigma fi xi minus x bar like that this is what the formula n is nothing else but sigma fi and therefore mean deviation is equal to 1 2 8 0 and n is 80 so 16 is there this can cancel 16 times so mean deviation is 16 only and that will be the answer so these are the way in which you can calculate median mean deviation about mean for from ungrouped data and group data so these two type of uh, mean deviation you have done till now and we will discuss mean deviation about median for group data in the next class till then bye bye god bless keep watching and if you haven't subscribed this channel do subscribe this and press bell icon also so that you will get notification of the channel video thank you thank you very much god bless